Common question I get all the time as a popcorn farmer. How do you turn corn into popcorn? Well, you don't. There's different kinds of corn for different uses. I got three of them here. Two of them we grow, one of them we don't. So this is regular field or dent corn, the vast majority of corn in the United States. Uh, this is actually an ear of non-GMO waxy corn that we grow. It's also a dent corn. It's just a different starch content than regular dent or field corn. I picked it now here in summer because it's a little farther along, starting to harden up a little bit, but it's still kind of plump, kind of juicy, kind of looks like sweet corn. Here is an ear of sweet corn uh, that our neighbors brought us that bailed some straw on our wheat. They're kind of similar. This one's a little bigger. Of course, size of sweet corn may vary. This is kind of that classic uh, white and yellow kernels look, but they look a lot the same. So what's the difference? Of course, this is sugary. This will just kind of taste kind of plain and starchy. At least it does to me. Some people do like to eat these though. They're very similar. The difference is the time that you're harvesting it. So you want these when they're sweet and sugary and plump and full of moisture. That's now, summertime. This doesn't get harvested till fall. Here is one from last year. It's just been sitting around in the office, so it's extra dry. Dry and hard. Store this for a long time in a grain bin when it's all shelled and everything. So this will become this. Part of the reason it's called dent corn, you see this one is starting to dent. Uh, when they begin drying down, they dent in at the top there. So you got dent corn, you got sweet corn, they all kind of look the same. This long skinny guy in the middle, this is popcorn. And I have a mature popcorn here. You can see it's turned a little more orange. This one is just starting to harden up and turn a darker orange, but it's still pretty, pretty soft and really, really wet. Another, oh, six, eight weeks before this is ready to harvest. And if you wanna see mature sweet corn, where you plant sweet corn seeds, uh, these have a purple uh, coating on them, a seed coat, uh, insecticide, fungicide, something like that. And anyway, they are all kind of dried and wrinkled up. Dent corn doesn't do that. I don't know if all sweet corn does that, but a lot of the seeds I see at the garden center and stuff, they're all kind of wrinkly like that. So all corn is something that's been selectively bred over thousands of years by humans. Corn is not a naturally occurring plant out in the wild. Uh, it comes from a plant called teosinte, which kind of looks like a, a bunched up grass with little, little tiny ears on the end of it, nothing, nothing like this. So the, these have all been selected for different properties over long, long periods of time to become what they are today. So a lot of people, like I said in the beginning, ask me, how do you get this to turn into popcorn? Well, it doesn't. And why does it pop? That'd be the next question. So I told you this was starting to hard up, harden up and change colors. This outer coating, the pericarp, is much, much thicker, three or four times thicker than what this will be when it's all dry. So what that does is when you put this in the microwave on the stove or your air popper or whatever, heats up the moisture inside and that thicker coating is able to hold that pressure inside until it eventually turns the kernel inside out. When it pops, this won't do that. So that is the reason popcorn pops and other corns don't. So these are only three types of corn here. Um, there's all other kinds. There's white corn has a lot of different food uses. Um, looking at nacho chips, red and blue. Well, there's red corn and there's blue corn. I've got right now in my garden, I've got some uh, red corn called um, Bloody Butcher or something like that. And I also have some, I think Indian corn. I've grown some glass gym corn just because it looks cool. But uh, the other thing is the, these two each make up like, I think less than 1% of the US corn crop. So almost every single acre of corn you see driving across the US would be this kind. There's really not that much of this out there.